episode of Take 5. I'm Mark Merchandani, a customer engineer here at Google. And today, I'd like to talk about instance templates. Instance templates are basically a way to define virtual machines, including the type of machine they are, the network they'll be running on, and other metadata about them, and use them to do things like create a managed instance group, or just to create one-off clones of machines. Instead of just talking about it, why don't we just dive into a demonstration of it? We can also look at the recently released functionality to be able to create an instance template based off of an existing virtual machine, which should make a lot of people's lives a lot easier. Let's jump in. Okay, so right here we've got our existing instance named existing instance, and this is just a quick virtual machine I've set up with Nginx on it. We'll go ahead and pull up the IP address here. And we can see there's the default Nginx screen. So if we take a bit of a deeper dive into the instance, we can see a few custom changes I've made. For one, it's using a custom machine type, which has a little bit of extra memory behind it. And in addition, we have some metadata configured here, including the startup script, which when the machine is booted, will install Nginx on it. So if we have this as our kind of our web server and additional kind of configurations, we may want to be able to create an additional machine with the same configuration. And what we'll use for that is instance templates. So if we go to the instance template screen and create one, through the user interface, it's a lot like the VM interface when creating one of those. You can change the same properties, you can set some of the metadata, but since we have an instance that's already configured, let's make a template based on that. So we'll go to the Cloud Shell, and we'll go ahead and run the instance template create command. The difference here is that we have a source instance and source instance zone parameter that let us take the name of the instance and what zone it's in in order to create the template based off of that. So we'll go ahead and call it my instance and I'll run this command. It should just take a few seconds here and then we'll go into the user interface to take a look at it. Okay, you can see it's done and now when we go over to instance templates and refresh the page, we can see here, here's our new template. So clicking on it, you'll be able to see a lot of the same stuff that we saw on the actual virtual machine configuration itself, including the same metadata and other configurations. We also have these two buttons up here to create a virtual machine based off of this template or to create an instance group. So if we just need one more machine, I'll go ahead and create a new one. We will call it new instance. We'll go ahead and put it in the east zone instead. And again, you can see the same configurations are kept here. We'll go ahead and create that. And while we're waiting on that to be created, we'll take a look at instance groups. So when creating an instance group, you're able to define a few parameters based on how you want that group to behave on a, on a few situations. But we also have the instance template drop down here. Actually, let's go to templates, click on our actual template, and then create instance group. Now this there it is. So there's our instance template group. And we can set a few other options here, such as auto scaling and health checks. Auto scaling is useful, so we can choose a couple of different parameters. But let's say we have our CPUs, it's set to 75. And that way, when the average of the CPU between all of the machines in the group drops above, or I should say drops below this amount, it'll be able to delete instances until it hits about this amount. And if it goes above this, it'll create instances to kind of help balance. You can also create some auto healing parameters, which will make sure that any machines that are failing a health check get rebooted using that same template. If we go and check on our new instance, it should be created. And as we check that IP address, we can see there's the Nginx demo screen. So we've been able to create a template from an existing machine and look at how we could create a group using that same template. So now you can see how easy it is to create instance templates, including those based off of your existing virtual machines. Using those to create new instances or instance groups can really give you a lot of flexibility. And you can also combine it with the option of creating custom image types to really identify what your entire workload is. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.